Okay, thank you so much, Teresa. She's gonna hang out at the Lakeview in case Liberty shows up there. Um, hey, Liberty, it, it's me. Look, I am really sorry about the fight, okay? And, and when you get this, can you please call me back or call your mom back because we're very worried about you. She's still not answering. I swear if Gabriel hurts her. What happened? Jack! Why was there a fight at the graduation party? Parker and Gabriel got into it. Over what? Nothing. Nothing, okay? It doesn't matter. I want to know. Can we not do this now? Parker, Jack? please. Gabriel grabbed Liberty, okay? I, I think you wanted to talk to her. I don't know. Who threw the first punch? No, it doesn't matter. The point is, she got upset, and Gabriel went off after her. We haven't heard from her since. And you remember what happened the last time they took off together? He stole Look, a car, and Gabriel she almost ended up getting arrested. Gabriel has bad judgment. I understand that, but there's no way he'd hurt Liberty. Then why hasn't she called us back? Maybe she went back to the Lakeview. She's not there. Teresa's there waiting for her. Okay, she isn't her I'll phone. call some guys I know on patrol. Have them keep an eye out for her, all right? Please, Jack. Anything you can do. We'll find her. And, and whatever you do, don't don't approach him or you spook him. Thanks. Oh, they have Liberty and Gabriel's descriptions. Anything we can do. Be patient. Don't get all freaked out, okay? It can't be good for the kid. Is there anyone else we should call? You know, somebody we haven't thought of yet? Oh, what, what about Mackenzie and, and, and other, Liberty's other friends, Kira and Alexa? Yeah, call them, okay? Okay, but I can't just do nothing or I'll go crazy. Let's take a drive. Maybe we'll see them on the street. Oh, good idea. Okay. <clears throat> Jack? Mm. How worried should she be? Well, it's it's hard to say. When I questioned Gabriel at the station, I was pretty hard on him. He didn't crack. Well, maybe because he was telling the truth. Jack, innocent people can get nervous when they're interrogated. Well, last time you know? he was this nervous, he took off. I think he was avoiding the truth. Maybe he's gone now. And maybe that's a good thing. Okay. Well, if he did take off, would Liberty go with him? Oh, I doubt it. She's done some pretty crazy things in the past. In the past, but not since she's been sick. You heard her speech at the graduation. Those were the words of a very together young woman. So Liberty wouldn't have gone off with Gabriel. At least, not willingly. Are you saying that Gabriel's holding Liberty hostage? No, no, that's not what that's he's exactly saying. That's exactly what he just, just said. I'm thinking out loud here. Parker, Parker, the possibility is extremely remote. I swear, if something happens to Liberty because of me. No, Parker. No, I started that fight with Gabriel. I'm the reason that she took off with that loser. Maybe she, maybe she went and she's with one of her friends. I just or talked maybe to all she of her took friends. Off. All right, maybe she took off and went to the, the river or something to chill out. Or went to a movie or something. It's too soon to be worried about her. Listen, do you have a picture of her? Yeah, on my phone. Okay, email it to me. I'm gonna go to the station and I'll and I'll send it out. Okay, someone's gonna recognize her, but don't worry about it, all right? But I'll go with you. No, right? you won't. You're coming home with me. Listen to your mother. Go home. I'll call you as soon as I know anything. Yeah, I got jealous. Gabriel had his hands all over Liberty and I couldn't take it. But that's not the only reason that I hit him. That's what you told your dad and me. Yeah, because neither of you wanted to hear the truth. Especially you. And what's the truth? I called Gabriel a liar. I told him that I knew for a fact that Craig did not hit him the day of the fire, that he didn't he wasn't the one that left him there. You said this in front of people? You said this in a room full of people? It's the truth, Mom. Parker, the truth could send you to jail. Is that what you want? What I want is for this nightmare to be over, but it just keeps getting worse. Didn't Dad question him again today? Yeah, uh -huh. and Gabriel kept his mouth shut. But Dad knows that he's lying. No, he doesn't. He doesn't know that. He might have a suspicion, but he doesn't know it. It's the same thing. You know how Dad is. He'll keep pushing him and pushing him until he cracks. Or until Dad thinks that Gabriel's telling the truth. But he's not. Parker, just trust me on this, all right? No, I can't do this anymore. Where are you going? To find Gabriel. I'm gonna make him tell the truth. Parker! I can't let you do that. Liberty! She always comes here to her father's grave when she's upset. Maybe she's not upset. That's a possibility, right? I suppose. I mean, being fought over by two guys, is that the worst thing? No, she hates that. Liberty told me she doesn't like it. All right, well, it's probably not going to be the last time. Oh, today started off so well. When she got that diploma, that was something. Else. Oh, I was so proud of her. We all were. You know, there were certain times when I didn't think I'd ever see this day. Oh, come on. It's true. Some of the choices I made, they always, they weren't always the best, you know? That's not true. 
We are standing here at her father's grave, a father that she only got to know a couple years ago because I made the decision not to tell Bradley that he had a what daughter. What are you doing beating yourself up for something you did how many years ago? Well, still, not knowing her father had an effect on her. Well, so did you. Not always good. You know, when I found out she was pregnant... Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this now, of all days? Because she is off with Gabriel somewhere. I don't know where she is or what they're doing. I'm, just, I'm positive she's not going to put herself in a bad situation with a boy after everything she's going through to get here. Right, you're right. I am right. You're right. Wherever she is, whatever she's doing, she's all right. She's fine. Thanks. You're welcome. Let's go back to the lake view. I'm sure she'll be there soon. Come on. Dusty! This flower is from the bouquet you got her earlier. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. That means she was here and she was upset. Well, she probably feels better after speaking with no, her father. No, please don't do that to me. I am not wrong, okay? I know my daughter better than that. I know when she's upset. Hey, don't Janet, placate me. we're gonna find your daughter. You gotta stay calm. You're getting all worked oh, up God. and it's... Something's wrong. Thought the guy was having a heart attack. Oh, no, he, he was gasping for breath. The oldest one in the. You know, while you're on disciplinary leave, you'll have time to reread the manual, and maybe you'll follow procedure. Grady, get this guy in the ER. You checked out. What's going on? Oh, Craig knocked him out, and then he escaped. And you know, it's just when I thought that my brother might actually be telling the truth. He is his own worst enemy. This is just par for the course. Did you put out an APB? Well. Who's in charge here today? Oh, God. I, Craig Montgomery is on the loose. He's escaped. What the hell happened to you? He attacked me at Worldwide. Look at me. And he nearly killed me. What? Well, he changed his mind about kill, killing me. But he left me. He left me bound and gagged in the office. My granddaughter, Faith, a poor child traumatized. She found me. Anyway, I'm pressing charges. I'm pressing charges. I want that animal to pay. Man, what a freaking day, huh? Jack Snyder's like a pit bull. And then my, I mean, Craig was all over me. How are you feeling? I'm better. Good. You haven't had a cramp since you've been here. That's because I've been holding my breath. Praying to God, please let the baby be all right. Please let the baby be all right. You want me to call Jack? No. No, he's out looking for liberty. I don't want him to worry about me. He'd want to be here. If there is anything wrong with the baby, then we can call him. Nothing's wrong with the baby, Jack. You don't know that. Yes, I do. Things can go wrong very quickly. Jack. This isn't the first time I've been in the hospital, Dusty. I don't know when I'm going to open my eyes and listen to God's warnings. You think this is a sign? I know you don't believe in that sort of thing, but I do. All right, what's God telling you right now? He's telling me that I shouldn't be so selfish and that I'm responsible for this little life that's inside of me right now. You think you lost sight of all that? I don't know. Between everything that's been going on with Liberty, and her treatments, and trying to get her ready to graduate from high school, and all the drama that's going on in my life right now. What, me and you? It's not an ideal situation, you know that. What is it? You know I love this baby more than anything, right? Yeah, of course. I just want to be a good mom more than anything. And I'm terrified that I'm going to ruin this kid's life somehow. No, no, Janet. Nothing's gonna happen. You're a great mom. I just want you to know how important this baby is to me. And I don't want the craziness of my life to overshadow what's really important. It won't. It won't. You know, Liberty had to grow up too fast because of the kind of life that I led back then. And I thought my life was better now, but maybe it's not, you know? And I just want this baby to have a chance at a normal life like she never got that chance. I want this kid to be a kid for as long as possible. I want to see a big smile on his face forever and, and forever. And if I have done anything to jeopardize this child's chance at a normal life, I will never forgive myself. No, Janet, nothing is wrong with the baby. The baby's perfect, like you. You really think so? Yes. 
You just gotta believe it. When you look at me like that, I do. That's my girl. Mr. Coney, I'm Dr. Nasir. I'm filling in for Dr. Morse. Hi. Um, this is Dusty Donovan. I'd like him to be present for the examination if it's all right with you. Tell me about these cramps you've been having. Right now, your dad doesn't know that Gabriel's lying about what happened that day. He's suspicious, but he doesn't know, so he doesn't have to choose between you or his badge. So you can't say anything, all right? I can't keep doing this, Mom. All I ever see is you and Dad fighting. We were. But it's better now. We turned a corner, and he's backed way off the case, so don't say anything. For God's sake, stay away from Gabriel, all right? Will you promise me that? This doesn't feel right, Mom. 